gosh. What's dirty? <laughs> well... Hmm... <laughs> Them off then. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Eat dust, Dennis. Floor it, Nasha. Into first, Mum. Up off the cushion, down on the squeaky bone, and steer the plate away from the wall. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this. I should have learnt to drive ages ago. Keep your eyes on the furniture, Mum. Oh, oh yes. Brum, brum, brum. Now Dennis is older, I'll have more time to practice. Up into second. Up squeaky bone, down cushion, umbrella into second, and back down on uh, bone. Voila! Well done, Mum. Well, I think it's time for the next stage. Yes. Yes. Uh oh, turbo failure. Yes. You're overheating, Nasha. You need water. On with my new water fountain. The very thing! Galloping gunners! Teething problems! What's this, Colonel? A statue of my time in India. You never forget your elephant. Uh, just need some water. Thanks. Just a couple of squirts. Water? Ah, good. Refueled and away we go! <laughs> Cad Sooks! A car that runs on water! I must call the army at once! Down on the squeaky bone! Turn the plate left! Oh! You... oh whoops! <laughs> Quick! Turn left! Racing. I wouldn't mind having a go at the coconut shy. <laughs> Oi, Nasha, hang about. We've got a race to run. <laughs> this car has a mind of its own. Knock down a coconut and win a teddy bear. That's it! You've got it! Now you're ready for a real car on the open road! Is that a cat? Meow! <laughs> Stop! Cut! Dead! Cut! Tennis! Help! Oh! 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 car! They've stolen the car! Oh, Nasha, thanks to that cat, Mum is finally on the road. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
<laughs> yes, gentlemen. Dennis has invented a car that actually runs on water. <laughs> this is the most momentous breakthrough since Squatty Cream that comes in a can. But unlike Squatty Cream, Dennis's car does not go flat after five minutes. Yes, gentlemen, the army needs that car. <laughs> What's going on here? I was teaching Mum to drive when... <laughs> You're teaching your wife to drive in a Dodgem car? Pull over, please, sir! This had better be good. Yes. Well, no. You see... Oh, it's just... No harm done. They've dented it! Hmm. What do you have to say for yourself, sir? Oh, dear. Think of something quick, Mum. We'll buy it. What? Good. You'd have had to anyway. That's settled, then. My very own car! Don't... Can you see them yet, Pie Face? Uh... Yeah, here he comes. Straight down, Nashon! Dennis wins! Yippee! <sighs> Wait until I find Walter. Come on! <sighs> Best time ever, Den! Well done! I would have been faster, but I, uh, bumped into Mum and Dad on the way. <laughs> Brilliant job, Nasha! We've got a surprise for you. Thanks. That's the engine service, then. <laughs> hey, where did Walter get to? After losing, he's too ashamed to show his face, Dennis. Who cares, eh, Curly? <laughs> <laughs> Forget the race, Walter. We brought you here to offer you a job as a secret agent. My daddy has worked out my career plan already, thank you. All you have to do is to bring in Dennis's racing car so the government boffins can have a look at it. Dennis, eh? No sacrifice is too great for the good of upsetting Dennis. Besides, now I can get my revenge. If this is what proper driving's like, I can't say it's much fun. This is a real car, so we start slowly. Oh, at this rate, we'll never reach the shops on time. Anybody care to go for a spin? Do you suppose we could get to the shops before they close? <laughs> Hop in! We'll take a shortcut through the park. But what about your lesson? Whoa! Whoa! There it is. Oh, these heavy burglar tools are giving me blisters. Some secret agent you are. The army want Dennis's racing car, and I mean to see they have it. Here, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Matilda, this light is heavy. Ah! Hello? 
What's this? It says, pull me. No, Walter, don't! I always do as I'm told, Matilda. and Matilda appear to be wetter than usual, Nasha. <laughs> yes, gentlemen, it is my sad duty to tell you that our agent has been the victim of a fiendish trap. Therefore, I must ask your permission to go directly from Plan 1 to Plan 1000. Yes, oh, ginormous. Yes, thank you. I was rather impressed with that myself. <laughs> and so, with your permission, I shall put Plan 1000 into immediate action. <laughs> Good luck, Mum. Thanks for all the help, dear. You'll do fine. Oh, it's just a driving test. Yoo-hoo! Please don't crash my car. Yes, I think I have everything. Umbrella, plate, pillow. Yuck! Oh, no! She didn't take the squeaky bone on a driving test. Breathe in, please, Brigadiers. I need room to manoeuvre. <laughs> this means war! <laughs> yes? Go for it! Yes! <laughs> The secret. <laughs> nice, nice. Mm -hmm. How does it start? Did I come up fast enough on the squeaky bone? Squeaky bone? <laughs> what are you talking about? And why have you taped a plate to the steering wheel? Well, you see, I learned to drive on the couch. The couch? Oh, and the bumper car, of course. Bumper car? Shall I put the umbrella into reverse? Umbrella? <laughs> do whatever you like. <laughs> of course, uh, I'm dreaming. <laughs> yes, do whatever you like. <laughs> Mum, follow that car. No, oh, <laughs> just like in the movies. Buckle up, Dennis. <laughs> Two hundred meters of extension cable. I'll catch them by then. Ah Whoa! Whoa! Uh, ah! Quick! After them! <laughs> Three. 
<laughs> Just like being a test pilot. <laughs> Step on it, Mum! Pedal to the metal. Hey, Dennis? Racing in the park? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> what is going on? I claim this water-powered car in the name of the crowd. What are you talking about? There it is! We've got Dennis's racing car at last! <laughs> well, aren't we going to see what the engine looks like? There's an idea! I claim this engine in the name of... Come now, gentlemen. It's obvious, isn't it? The uh, wretched dog must have eaten the engine. <laughs> I won't ask. I don't think my notebook's large enough. Uh, 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 hi, hi, Dennis! Dennis. Morning. Hi there! You've just arrived in time. Mum's had 50 more lessons and she's just taken her driving test again. Here she comes now. Well, Mum, I'm pleased to tell you you passed the driving test with the highest score ever. Oh, isn't that nice? Not only do you get your certificate, but I'd like to present you with a potted plant and some driving gloves. Oh, isn't that lovely, Dad? She passed. Oh, do come in and have some tea with us. Tell me how you did it, Mum. Here's how. <laughs> nice work, Nasha. You just passed your test. Race you back home, Nasha. <laughs> Oh, really, Dad? This is silly. No, no, it isn't. Keep down. You've never met my aunts. Look, 
They're supposed to be hundreds of miles away up the Limpopo. You don't know what they're like. They're... Oh, no. The back door! Mum! There's someone at the front door! Oh, no, Dennis! Shh! Good morning! About time! Indeed! There he is! Yeah! Oh, goodness me! We must have fallen asleep under the window. Relaying this carpet really took it out of us. Uh, yes. <laughs> carpet. <clears throat> well, aren't you going to introduce us? Look, if you'll stop cleaning me, I will. I'm Dennis, and this is... Oh, children should be seen, but not heard. Seen? Only in photographs. Photographs? Small ones. In black and white. Who are these people, Dad? Well, introduce us. Um, oh, uh, yes. Um, Mum, these are my aunts. Aunt Gertrude and Aunt Fanny. Uh, pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Mm. But you're not due back from your trip for another ten years. We read that yesterday. That article was written years ago. Spit! <laughs> you haven't changed much in ten years. <laughs> Eat on the sofa! Whoa! 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 <laughs> etiquette training! Etiquette training! Etty what? Set up the etiquette assault course, if you please. Righty ho! Etiquette assault course? <laughs> <laughs> That's the ticket by Joe. Discipline. Thanks, but no thanks. See, I'm polite enough already. So, you don't want any luscious chocolate smothered in toffee coating. Sit in a glacier of ice cream as a reward. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Always wipe your feet, but never fall over. Wash your hands now! Yeah. <laughs> ah! Forget what? Mm. Your teeth, of course. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> ah, no elbows on the table. No feet on the table. Wow! Why? We win! Etiquette rule 42. No eating in bed. I take my hat off to you ladies. Alicia, get us out of this thing! <laughs> we shall now retire to our bedrooms to freshen up. It's time for my six o'clock boiled vapour rub. And Aunt Fanny needs her damp cloth. Your... Your, your bedrooms? bedrooms? Yes, dear, that's right. Bedrooms. Our house is being cleaned following our trip, and as this little fellow is our closest living relative, we knew he wouldn't mind looking after us for a little while. Yes, just the three months, you understand. 
And not a day longer. Uh, uh, three months. Oh, Dennis, why did you open that door? Lisha, <laughs> this means war! Have you heard? Dennis's house has been invaded by his great aunts. I don't care how big they are. Dennis and Nash will fight them off. <laughs> pies, more pies. Don't the crumbs go up your nose? Yeah, I'll save them for later. Uh, hello? It can't be. Dennis? Oh! Ooh! No, it must be someone else. It's me, all right. Dennis! What, what happened? It was horrible. I've been etiquetted. Ooh! The great aunts of rock hardened your hair, then. But, Dennis... Didn't Nasha help save you? They got him, too. Huh? They have got to go! Yes. Have you got a plan, then, Den? We're going to give my great aunts a night they'll never forget. left. Nice. What's in the bag, Nasha? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, my 
might have known. It's... It's just the Colonel. But what's that? Ooh. <laughs> Did you find the smelling salts? Oh. Worked out even better than I planned. Did I uh, hear some noise last night, Mum? Oh, Dennis, it was terrible. We were invaded by white sheets and a ghost. Oh dear! Dad's aunts must be packing already. <laughs> <laughs> Leave? Leave? <laughs> Certainly not. That was the most thrilling night of my life. Eh? We've decided to become professional ghost hunters. Professional? We must stay and investigate thoroughly. Thoroughly? Do. We shall now stay here for three years. Three, three years? years? Oh, eight o'clock. Time for my bunion bath. And Aunt Fanny needs her damp cloth. We must get them to leave. But how? Here. This is their address, Dennis. They used to have a butler. Maybe he can help us. Or, if they're into ghosts, then maybe Nasher and I can provide some on their own doorstep. <laughs> You'll think of something, Dennis. You always do. Mission accepted! It should be just round the next corner. Wow! <laughs> cool house, Nasha. <laughs> this place should be easy to haunt. Yes? Huh? Who are you? Rhett. Rhett the butler. May I butle you inside, gentlemen? Um, uh, butle away, Rhett. Wow! I fear the ladies of the house are currently away. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> no, that is just a painting. The real answer on a 20-year canoe holiday up the Limpopo. If only they're round at our house. Mm, I think not. Only today I received this postcard from them. Then who is round at our house? <laughs> Ghosts? <laughs> Somehow I don't think so. Back home, Nasha. Thanks for your help, Brett. Oh, 
Right, you can cut that out for a start. You mean? Yeah. We've finally driven them all from the house. Time for Operation Rip-Off. Grab the swag and scarper. <laughs> Two-faced robbers! Right, Fred. That's our heads ripped off. Now let's grab the swag and scarper. <laughs> nice one, Bert. This plan works every time. Why break into an house when you can make everyone leave by pretending to be very annoying relatives? <laughs> <laughs> Of real robbers. <laughs> Have you still got that talcum powder, Nasha? Yes. Just that thing. It's Dennis. He's seen us. We've got this stuff. Let's move. The front door, Nasha. That missile looks familiar. <laughs> Time to teach you both some manners. Untuck me! Untuck me! You hear? Time for our reward, Nasha! Nice one, lad. Uh, we've been after the pretend auntie gang for some time now. They read about your real ants in the newspaper. I can tell a pretend aunt a mile off. Well done, Dennis. I couldn't have lasted another minute. <laughs> yoo -hoo! Oh, no! We're just arriving home early from up the Limpopo, and our butler told us that Dennis had called. No. No. Oh, no. So we thought we'd come and stay for, for a, a month. month. <laughs> wow! There's plenty more where that came from. Yes, I can spot a real relative of mine when I meet one. <laughs> <laughs> Nasha was having a bad day. It all started with the arrival of the Colonel's favourite cousin. Galloping gunners! We're under attack! I know, but think of the money I save on laundry. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back in the old country. 
It's good to be back, my old friend. Nasha! Hee <laughs> hee! Come on, let's check out the Colonel's visitor. <laughs> or do you want to eat? Did I really ask that question? <laughs> Yeah. See you when you surface. I kept my strength by drinking the sweat from my top lip and eating stray flies. In the end, I beat them all off. Then, I covered myself in fish slime, squeezed out of the whale's blowhole, and swam to freedom. Bravo! Bravo! And they never let you visit the zoo again. Ha <laughs> ha! Zoo? You don't enter real adventures through a turnstile, my boy. Dennis, meet my cousin, Hugo Trenchwood, adventurer extraordinaire. Ever met a yeti yet? Uh, no. Then shake the hand that shook a yeti. You shook a yeti? There's an entire world out there just waiting to be shaken, my dear boy. Have a rubber fish, a bamboo stick, half a pound of Nile mud, and a travel brochure. The rest is up to you. Wow, way! Ah, you speak um papa. Wow, we hum he. Nasha, how many times have I told you? Stop eating when you reach the floor. Mum, I need the bucket and rope again. Oh, nothing really exciting ever happens in our house. Houses are just expensive umbrellas with a restricted view. See the world, my boy. Because it's round, you only need a one-way ticket. Hugo, Hugo, what of your last adventure? It very nearly was my last adventure. What happened? Rats! A land populated entirely by rats! <gasps> they held me prisoner. Let me out! Let me free, I cried. No. No, they kept me locked away, caged for 25 rat years. Wow, what's that in human years? Two weeks. How awful. How did you escape? I covered myself with fish slime and swam to freedom. What did these giant rats look like? Hugo always brings back photos, don't you, Hugo? <laughs> photos? Oh, yes. Always. Never known him not to. Never known me not to. The rotten rats of Abyssinia. You what? They're not rats. Why not? They look like Nasher, and he's a dog. Are you calling my cousin a liar? Who's Nasha? He's a... he's a rat! Ah, Nasha! I've discovered your long-lost relatives! Stop that rat! <sighs> Come on, Nasha! <laughs> Stop that rat! That's an order! Oh, dear. Hello, Ratcatcher Company. We need your help. What do you mean, what for? Let's not cause a fuss, Godfrey. I always knew there was something odd about that dog. Well done for unmasking him, Hugo. Oh, dear. The rat is heading northeast along Southwest Street. <laughs> They're both as potty as each other, Nasha. <laughs> no one could believe that you're a rat. <laughs> but they did believe. Do not be silly. Give yourself out. It's going to be a long night, Nasha. Hmm, rat catchers in this neighborhood. Finnegan, chief rat catcher, and my assistant Mullins. You're on the case. Ever since you called, 
You're on the case. Can you describe the rat, sir? This may sound silly, but the rat is called Nasher and nearly looks like a dog. Not silly at all, sir. Ordinary rats are a thing of the past. This is the age of the super rat. Mullins, hit the lights. The Brookhaven rat of 74. Passed himself off as a short order chef for five years. Kept a clean kitchen, too. By the time we arrived, all we found was his unzipped bodysuit. We missed him by a whisker. Mullins, hit the lights. Super rats are anywhere, everywhere, and anyone. Bo! <coughs> That's right. Stay alert. We've got that rat surrounded, sir. Good. Where? There, sir. Rats. At Dennis's house. Hmm. Clear off! Nash is a dog, not a rat. Ask any postman. Postman? They finally banded together to get Nasha, Mum. They look like rat catchers to me, dear. OK, Nasha. Down the stairs, through the trapdoor, and down the tunnel to the... Treehouse? <clears throat> How did I know? It's my job to know, Sonny. Hand over the rat. Yeah, I think not. Nice one, Sergeant Slipper. Nasher is a dog until proven otherwise. We shall have a proper hearing tomorrow. You mean a trial? You can't do that. This is Beano Town, sir. I think you'll find that I can. Silence in court. Silence in court. Silence! I said, silence! Give me back my little hammer. Thank you. This hearing is now in session. Poor Nasha. What? My client is innocent until proven guilty. He shouldn't be caged. Overruled, Sonny. <laughs> I shall prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Nasha is a wire-haired Abyssinian tripe hound. By that, I mean a dog. Hooray! Hooray! Poppycock! Nasha is a wire-haired Abyssinian super rat. My cousin says so. And so do the rat catchers. And soon he will be taken from his cage <laughs> and banished to the dark, dank sewers below. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice one, Nasha. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Please, tell the court, is Nasha a dog? Uh, Mom? Uh, yes, yes. Nasher is definitely a dog. And does he eat loads of bones? Oh, yes. It is a well-known fact that rats eat anything. What else does Nasher eat, madam? Oh, anything, really. Aha! Anything. Oh, is anything? Is anything? Is anything? He is a super rat. A spreader of coughs, colds, and diseases. <coughs> See? <coughs> Objection! The prosecution is leading the witness. Can you fix that clock later? How am I doing? Great, Dennis. I think the rat is innocent. Oh. What are you doing with a travel brochure, Dennis? Oh, it's only something Hugo gave me at the Colonel's house. Wait a minute. It's only the case for the defence. Calling Hugo Trenchfoot! <gasps> you say that you took this photo yourself in Abyssinia? Uh, maybe. Or maybe you cut it from this travel brochure. Ooh! With these scissors! Ooh. And stuck them on this card! Ooh. With this glue! Ooh. Order! Order!
Yeah, enough wooing. Yes, yes, it's true. I cut photos from travel brochures to impress my cousin, the Colonel. <laughs> I made it all up. I've never been anywhere. Ah. You did all that just to impress me? All those stories and your cases, all that stuff? Yes. And this brochure talks of the famous Abyssinian dogs, not rats. Foolish, I know. But I thought rats would make me sound tougher. Can you ever forgive me, Godfrey? Of course I can, man. <sighs> I rest my case! <laughs> You did it! The case still stands. Nasher is a super rat. Hasn't Mum admitted that he eats anything? Oh, yes, yes. Just like a rat. Yes, that's true, Dad. Super rats are anywhere, everywhere, and anyone. Bo! Woo! That's right. Stay alert. And if I'm not mistaken, real dogs go woof, not mush. I rest my case. I think he's guilty. Oh, no. What have I done? I'm terribly sorry. Do something, Dennis. He did. He lost. Order. Order. I want that rat. No one takes my dog! No rat escapes from us. Go, Nasha! Go! Nasha! Wait! Catch that rat! Gordy! Gordy! Nasha is not a rat. Nasha is a dog. Hooray! And the person with the glamour is always right. And a rat catcher is never wrong either. I have to find Nasha. You scared him off. <laughs> the race at the airport. The plane is heading for Abyssinia. He's heading for Abyssinia. Nasha's heading home to Abyssinia. He thinks I've failed him. You've got to take me there. To the police plane. To the rat plane. To the biplane. Oh, dear. I don't have a passport. Don't worry. You can share mine. Abyssinia, here we come. Faster. Faster. <laughs> well. Abyssinia, Hugo! Do you have the directions? According to the brochure, it's a country. Uh, ah, yes. By the sea. Right you are! Hey! We'll never reach Nasher in time. Can't this thing go any faster? Uh, even the Colonel's beating us. We have to observe the speed limit. But we're in the sky! Speed limits are a ground thing! We happen to be ground things, young man, and don't you forget it. Look! The Colonel's speeding! Quick! Give him a ticket! Yeah, now, that's different. Stop! In the name of the law!
buckets and spades for later. We've got a dog to save. Where are we, Hugo? The travel brochure's upside down. Soon sort that out. Thanks, Godfrey. Abyssinia should be coming up right now. Going down. Hold on, Hugo! <laughs> Nasha! Oh, Nasha, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, no. They do. And I'll second that. They're all super rats. Cage them all! Pleased to meet you both, but we'll have to do the family photos later. Come on! <laughs> I love nothing better than cornered rats. <laughs> no one calls my dog a rat, you rat! You... what do you mean? <laughs> it's a plant. It's a rat's tail. I am your leader. Unhand me. Allow me. A super rat spy! And the first rat we've caught since Finnegan took over. And now you know why. He's been leading you all on a wild dog chase. <laughs> Remember, super rats are anywhere, everywhere, and anyone. <laughs> so, stay alert! <laughs> We'll never squeeze out of here, Godfrey. Ah. Well, time to break open the buckets and spades. Give me three, Nasha. <laughs> and now for my first real photo of my first real adventure. Say, Nash! Nash! <laughs> well, gentlemen, it may look like an ordinary house in Beano Town, but your research shows it's sitting on the richest oil deposit in the country. We're gonna buy the place up and make me a fortune. The house belongs to a family unit, sir. Just a bunch of little people. There'll be no match for the slickest oil company in the business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope the green and friendly pressure group don't beat us this time, eh, sir? Huh? Uh, uh, they won't. They won't. Uh, I said they won't. The green and friendly pressure group can do nothing. There are no cabbage-friendly snails to save this time. Just a little house and little people. Do you know what we're going to do with them? Uh, n n no. Throw them in the trash! 
Dennis! You need a bath! You haven't had one for ages! But, Mum, I'm holding a garage sale of all my old stuff. Pie Face is waiting outside. Well, you'd better have a bath pronto, then. <laughs> It'll do you good. If water does you good, then why do people carry umbrellas? Ah! There's a spider in the bath! We'll save your Mum. Quick, Nasha. <clears throat> Never underestimate your mum. Please! Oh, mum! There's a good boy. I've always wanted to live in this area, and your house is so beautifully positioned. Yes, well, we like it. And so quiet, too. Oh, no, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> That's our son having a bath. He's very keen on cleanliness. Yes. <laughs> Yuck! You call that coffee? <laughs> Queen Nasha, save your fleas! <laughs> Oh, yuck! What dirty water! That's the last time I bath with you. Uh, so, how much do you want for it? Um, for what? For the house, of course! Oh, I see, but I'm afraid it's not for sale. Want a bargain, eh? I like that in a man. I'll offer you five times its value divided by ten, and that's my sneakiest offer. Or are you just a lodger? I paid for this house fair and square, and here's the deed of ownership to prove it. Oh, yeah? Uh, um, oh, 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 uh, well. <laughs> well, sorry to have troubled you. Good day. So much for the direct approach. What a strange old lady. She wanted to buy our house. Well, I hope you told her it's not for sale. It's our home. Of course I did, Mum. And I have a certificate to prove it, which I'll hang on one of our many walls. Now, at last we can join Pipe Base for our toy sale. Two baths in one day? Without this certificate, Dennis, you'd have no house to bath in. Think yourself lucky. There. That should dry it out. Shall I return your wife's wig and coat to the wardrobe, sir? Why bother? She's got hundreds of each, and they're all the same. Time to get sneaky. I love it when they're stupid. Give me your glasses. <laughs> what kept you, Dan? Oh, don't ask. <laughs> Keep an eye on the stall, Pie Face. I'll be down in a minute with some more stuff. OK, Dan. You can trust me. Hello, little boy. Huh? Hello, big person. Impressive display. And so wet. Yeah, <laughs> that was Dennis's idea. Do you have any old certificates propped up to dry by a window? Like that one? Uh... Wow! It's your lucky day! We've got one left! <laughs> right, this is the last lot. Let's hope Pipeface has managed to sell something. Nice. Mission completed. Activate Operation Oil Strike. Done any business, Pie Face? Not often. I swapped a bit of old paper for this. An old lady's wig? What bit of old paper? Uh, 
It was stuck on the windowsill over there. <gasps> You've sold our house for an old lady's wig? Oh, come on, Den. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. I got a coat and gloves as well. Oh. Oh. It's all right. He said his wife had hundreds of them. What's going on? Oh. I just bought myself an oil field. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. It's all legal. Big laugh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How did he buy my certificate? How did we lose our house? Uh, how we lost the house isn't important, Dad. <laughs> what is important is how we get it back. Oh, don't worry, Dad. Behind every cloud, there's a silver lining. Oh, no. <laughs> emergency bedroom, now ready for emergency people. Follow me. Oh, that's us. Find the trip wires. <laughs> no harm done. Just a smoke canister. Stops burglars making a mess of the place, don't you know? Follow me! What? <laughs> Follow my voice! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One spare bedroom! Indoor tents? And here's a recent photocopy of a log fire. Oh, it's still warm. Need anything else? Just make an owl call. Tents? To wit, to woo! Thanks for everything. My pleasure, Mum. Oh. <laughs> Looks like he's moving all his henchmen into our house. Thank you, sir. You! Leave the yes man under the window. How's that? That's fine. Oh, yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How good is the oil? Mm, can't tell yet, sir. It's too thick to get under the microscope. That's great. The thicker, the better. Ha! Well, at least we have a roof over our heads. Yeah, we're under attack! It's coming from over here! What's going on? My favourite CD! Military explosions! All-time greatest hits and misses! So soothing! Hey. Sleep well! Boom! Bam! Bam! Wait for it. Boom! I don't know how yet, Nasha, but tomorrow we're going home. Still, Nasha. This disguise cost us our house. Let's see if it helps us get our own back on Katzenberger oil. <sighs> Morning. Go away. How dare you? I am Mr. Clint Katzenberger's wife. 
Oh, uh, uh, sorry, madam. Um, I'd better go away. <laughs> Mrs. Katzenberger, what an honor. Hey, how did you know? Oh, I'd recognize that fine coat and wig anywhere. Oh, uh, did I say wig? Oh, oh, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Look, I don't have much time. But you look so healthy. What I want to know is, what could possibly go wrong with my husband's plan? Oh, no, 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 nothing, 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 nothing. The Green and Friendly Pressure Group know nothing. No endangered wildlife can close down this site. Endangered wildlife, eh? No, not this time. We can dig all we want. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Honey, you've come visit. Turn around, darling, and give your hubby a big, smoochy, wet kiss. Uh, uh. Don't keep me waiting now. <laughs> wow, that was. Give me back that certificate. Try, kid, but I win again. Really big laugh, guys. <laughs> and then he threw me out. Your own home as well, then. Huh? <laughs> Until I sold it. <laughs> Sorry, then. What do we do now? The Green and Friendly Pressure Group. Who? They are the only people who have ever stopped Katzenberger. You told them about the Green and Friendly Pressure Group? Well done. Can it! This is one oil strike that they are powerless to stop. There are no endangered species here, except you guys. <laughs> Meet our endangered species! Ta -da! But Nasher isn't endangered. Uh, you don't mean me, do you, Dan? Yeah, of course not. Show them, Nasher. Just like we practice, lads. Save our home! Save our home! We need a dog and he needs a garden! The rare and soon to be endangered Abyssinian tripound flea. Oh! Nasher and I will get the fleas into our front garden. If things go well, Katzenberger will soon be the endangered one. Good luck, then. says that I make a mess. Fifty barrels of oil, and it's only Monday. Load up the truck. Right, Mr Katzenberger, sir. Have you found out how good the oil is yet? We're still trying to thin it out. I've never seen anything like it. Time to get our house back. We want something to protest about. We want something... Hello, green and friendly. 
Have I got a cause for you? We want something to protest about. Crack on with the marker pens. We've got a hot one. Yay! Time to act our age, Nasha. Familiar, like that stupid family's coffee. Uh, who's that? Save the tripod, please, please. Save the tripod. Save the what? Show him, Nasha. Prepare for the protest. Protect the fleas. Protect them with this! Ugh. <laughs> Oil Baron attacks endangered fleas! <sighs> Give it back, lads! At the double! <laughs> Please attack Oil Baron! Ooh. Yes! Give me three, Nasha! <laughs> Start the truck! Man the defences! Yes, sir! Has the whole town gone mad? <laughs> what do I care? I have my oil! I've completed the test, sir! It isn't oil! What? What? There must have been a leak under the house. It's dirty, incredibly dirty, bath water! Whoops! <laughs> dirty bath water? But my executives told me... Burgers saved me a fortune in plumbing bills by cleaning it all out for us. And the green and friendly pressure group shall restore your garden <laughs> to its former beauty. Oh, thank you. That's... Uh, that's... Uh, very friendly of you. Yes! My certificate. Fetch a hammer and nail, Nasher. We're back where we started. Having a bath could be more trouble than it's worth, eh, Nasher? Ha, 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 ha!